Hello friends, just want to give you a quick overview of Figma. So Figma is a web-based vector graphics tool that allows developers and designers to collaborate efficiently and effectively. It's been broadly used in the industry since its inception in 2012. And in May 2022, Microsoft finally released support for Figma design files in public preview. Next, I'll show you how to quickly create a Power App using Figma. So if you navigate to figma.com and do a search for Microsoft Power App, you'll see this template. So once you're on this, this particular page, you wanna go ahead and get a copy of this template. So click on get a copy, and this will now launch into Figma. So the first step is to actually rename this to something that's sensible. So let's call it uh, my Figma test. Okay, and you'll see there's a list of instructions here. So I'm gonna skip over the instructions for now. You can read it in your own time, but we're gonna go ahead and create a brand new page. And I'm gonna call this my sample power app. And I wanna make it a tablet app, okay? So now it's completely blank. We're gonna go ahead and click on assets and you'll see uh, two, um, two options here, phone and tablet. So choose what you want. I'm gonna say tablet at this time. And you'll see that it, it dropped this control onto the form. So before you can do anything, you have to detach that, that instance. So I'm gonna go ahead and detach that as well as delete the text inside there. All right, so we're pretty much set up. We wanna create a theme around this. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna create a, uh, a little uh, banner at the top. And now that I've got a banner, I wanna go ahead and drop in a logo. And I wanna say, I wanna make that a fit option. So that way I can scale it nicely. I'm going to go ahead and put our corporate branding on here. Excuse the plug. Uh, and then <clears throat> next thing we want to do is to um, say, give this form a name. So I'm going to say this is our uh, first page. All right. Um, then what I'll do is I'll create a, a, a little background here and we'll give it a color. Now it does come with some predefined colors that are pretty nice. So I'm going to go ahead and create a color there and I'm going to put some text in here. So I'm going to say, I'm going to create an, an app, give it the app name. In this case, I'm going to say free hugs. Um, make that one space, is one space between that. And I'll make this really big. Okay. And obviously you need to play with the scaling. So I'm going to go ahead and use a font that I know that's going to work in Power Apps. And that could be, let's have a look. Um, dancing script. I know that works. Not the best font choice here, but it will work. All right. So now if we have a look in our first page, we've got these items in here. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that. And then I'm going to duplicate that again. All right. So the last page here will be, thank you. And I'm going to rename that and say last page. And then I'm going to go to the middle one and I'm gonna call this our main page. All right, cool. And now we can start playing with some controls. So I'm gonna go back to our asset screen here, and the first thing I need to do is create, choose whether I'm gonna have a form or it's gonna be a container, a vertical container. Uh, I don't know, it doesn't, I'm not sure what the difference here is, but uh, potentially I can just go, all right, uh, drop that, detach the instance, remove the text, and I can start adding my elements to here. So I'm gonna start with a few labels. I have some labels here. And the first label will be, uh, do you want a free hug? All right, and then I'm gonna maybe put in a toggle switch. And then the next label is, um, what quality of hug? One, two, five stars. And if I look at the supported components, there's a star there. Great. Uh, and then next one would be, when would you like this hug? And I'll put a date picker. And maybe just one more here. Uh, maybe special instructions for your hug. And let's go ahead and put in a rich text control. And I might want to add a timer. I'm going to leave that outside of our um, container. 
and I'm also going to add a button and now I'm going to stylize this and give it a different color maybe make that yellow well, that's not a great color maybe make that blue make that black all right cool um, this needs some spacing in here some padding out so I'm going to say 20 by 20 something along those lines and you have pretty much the basic UI for your app so go ahead and save that and what you want to do is now export that or import it directly into Power Apps and the way you do that is you'll need to uh, first of all go to your account uh, your account settings and then you'll see uh, you can create a personal access token so my Figma test Right, it's going to ask you to copy this token and then make sure that when you import it into Power Apps, and we're going to switch over to Power Apps, we're in the Maker Experience. I'm going to go ahead, click on Figma Preview. I'm going to say my Figma test, put my personal access token in there, and lastly, we just need one more thing in here, which is the link to this Power App. So I'm going to go ahead, copy link to the Power App and then click create right this will this will take a few seconds uh, to actually build up all the pages obviously the bigger controls the more controls you have the longer it takes and with any luck it should have rendered uh, all three screens so there we go so we've got the first page here which is free and I'm not sure so this is one of the bugs that I found here Sometimes it has trouble interpret, interpreting fonts. Uh, not all fonts work. Um, so you might need to play with this a little bit. In this case, I'm gonna take that out there. So you need to do some cleaning up in this, in this case. And then if we go to the main page here, you can see that the background for this didn't actually carry across. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a background manually. Some of the padding on the bottom's been lost as well. Just Keep in mind that this is beta, so you're gonna to have to fine tune a little bit. And the other thing also is you need to wire this up to data now as well. And you also need to put some actions behind that button to make sure it submits. Um, so it gives you an idea, but it's actually not a bad starting point, right? And then if you go to the last page, you see there, there's a thank you page. You can obviously expand that, do what you want, manipulate it as you need. And then that's it. Pretty much you've got your first uh, power app um, built using Figma. Thank you very much. Cheers.